Aren't you supposed to be at the office dealing with that problem that you created? I dealt with it, but we're going to need to discuss damage control strategy. Mm, they can wait. No, it can't. And I'm going to need you to sign off on some paperwork before I can go through, so... I have to take this. Hey, I was hoping you'd call today. Yeah, I'll be coming to see you very soon. Me too. I have to go. Everything okay? Yeah, fine. Old friend? Listen, let's talk about Christmas later, okay? I have to go. Marissa. What's wrong now? Zach. Zach Slater. It's not exactly what I expected to hear, but... Okay. What about him? What? He's a perfect example of what can happen when... when you get too close to someone. I mean, within a split second, they can just be gone. Happened to Kendall. Happened to my mom. How do I know it's not gonna happen to me? Just because something happens to someone you know doesn't mean it's gonna happen to you. If it does. You know, if I've learned anything over the past few years, it's you can't predict how life's gonna unfold. I mean, I had, I had it all planned out when I came back from Iraq. How I was gonna live in a certain place, who I was gonna live with, how life would be. Then the explosion happened. And I ended up in flames. And then all my plans, just gone. I mean, you made it out. Yeah, not the way I thought I would. And everything changed. I had changed. The way I look at life, the way I live life, I'm mean, so different than from before. And it's because I don't focus on the future. I focus on today, for right now. And right now, I'm with this unbelievable, bright and beautiful woman who even though she tries not to show it, I know she likes me a lot. A lot. Yeah. I do. Then let's go with that. I got a page about David Hayward. Oh, it wasn't for me. You're not getting out of this that easily. Would you follow me? That's weird. I want to know the whole truth about you and Kara, the part that you're not saying. There's nothing more to tell. I don't believe you. Look, you're better off leaving this whole thing alone. What does that even mean? It means you're already freaked out about this whole no, thing. No, I'm not. Look, it's your husband's ex. I get it. Maybe he's told you some things about her. Maybe he hasn't. Maybe me being here is bringing up all these things about Jake you didn't know he had going on. Okay, you know nothing about me. I know you're better off leaving this thing alone. You got a great family everybody wishes they have. You, you, you got a solid marriage. What else do you need? The truth. Kara's not here. She's not even close. She's, she's an ocean away. Hey. You get that page about Hayward? You're the one who sent it? Mm hmm Uh, the irregularity in the heart turns out to be the monitor, not the patient. Glad to hear. Hi, honey. Did you meet hey. you? How'd the meeting go? Oh, it got canceled. Really? Well, then this is kind of uh, an honor then, right? Because this is twice in one day. Uh, um, your break must be coming up, right? Uh, mm -hmm. you got plans? Well, I do now. Just a little something I have to do first, okay? Should have done it the day that Griffin arrived. Jake, please do do not make right. another scene. It's okay. You don't have to worry. Um, 
I should have done this sooner. Done what? Welcome to Pine Valley Hospital. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Stop, stop, stop. All right, you first. Come on. It's cold. Hey, I'm just laughing about how we collided like some NFL linebacker. Over a stupid coat. I know. <laughs> oh. But, you know, if that didn't happen, then either with this. Yeah, you're worth freezing. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, one sec. Ah, uh, phone call. That's my dad. Nothing to report, Chief. About earlier? I'm sorry. Did you just say I'm sorry? <laughs> yeah, um... Put this on speaker. I want Brad to hear this, okay? Yes, Chief. Listen, I know I came down a little hard on you a little earlier. You think? Let's not get snarky, okay? Listen... <laughs> I'm pulling you off the stakeout. McCarthy and Harris are going to take your place. Get back to the station. Finish what you were doing, all right? Well, sounds like we can, uh, head back to the station. You heard the man. Don't bet you want to go? Sure. Or, uh, I think we should stay here keeping eye on the building until our replacement show. Uh, works for me. <laughs> Where are you going? Nowhere. You want to know who called Marissa? Well, well, she seemed happy to hear from him, whoever it was. Yeah. I suppose she did. Maybe she's found herself a new man. That would be great for us. If Marissa started dating, she'll, she'll be less pissed off when she finds out we're together. Why'd you show back up? I told you I'd call you when I was finished. You were taking a long time. No, I was making progress, and you showing up could have knocked us back. Scott, good. I, I was worried the guards wouldn't let you come to the phone again. Yeah, I, I was with JR, and I didn't want him to know I was talking to you. He'd probably use it against me. I know you do. But I'll see you very soon. I promised I would help you. You have my word. I gave it a lot of thought about the way that it ended with me and Kara. And I just want to say that, as far as I'm concerned, it's all in the past. It's good to know. Truth of the matter is, you did me a favor. Because of you, I, I found out where I'm supposed to be and who I'm supposed to be with. So I want to I wanna thank you. You all right? I'm fine. Actually, the reason that I came back was to give you this. <laughs> 